Now, their shops have been boycotted, they've been sacked for refusing to convert, and leaflets have been handed out calling for their deaths. The Metropolitan Police has now launched a hate crime investigation into the intimidation of a small Muslim sect by other Muslims. The Ahmadi community has faced years of persecution in Pakistan, and now a Channel 4 News investigation has found that the hatred is being imported here onto the streets of Britain. Our correspondent Darsh Nasoni has this special report. A peaceful religious community who settled in Britain after fleeing persecution. But many Ahmadis are now living in fear for their lives because a campaign of hatred against them by other extremist Muslims is being exported from Pakistan onto the streets of Britain. Earlier this year in Lahore, Ahmadis were targeted in a murderous attack. 93 worshippers were killed, including a number of Britons. Police fought a three-hour battle with gunmen who had stormed two Ahmadi mosques. The group's religious views are highly controversial because they don't believe the Prophet Muhammad was the last messenger, a view orthodox Muslims find heretical. So I was inside the mosque when we heard the gunshots and the attackers came in. Sitting next to me was a little kid with his father. His father was trying to save him. Lutfur Rahman survived the Lahore massacre but witnessed others being killed. He says the ideology behind the attack is now being preached here in the UK. I've seen that all kind of problems and troubles and hatred in the society in Pakistan and the same kind of hatred has started arising here in UK as well. Since the attacks in Pakistan, there's growing evidence that the campaign of hatred is spreading here to the UK. We've spoken to Ahmadis who have been physically attacked in the street and to others who have been sacked because they refused to convert. And here in South London, we found leaflets being handed out calling on Ahmadis to be killed. Zahir Mirza owns a butcher's in Tooting. He says in recent months, customers have been boycotting his shop after this leaflet started to appear in the community. The leaflet states that because he's Ahmadi, his meat is not halal. So because you're Ahmadi, people yeah, won't shop here? Why, yeah, because he, I think he's here, that he hates us, that's why. And that hate campaign is growing. We found others who also claim to be victims. Abdul Majid has just won a tribunal against his former Muslim employer. The panel found that Mr. Majid was sacked because he's an Ahmadi and refused to convert. He told me he had worked for his boss for over two years and had felt sick and upset when he was asked to leave. We were unable to contact Mr. Majid's ex-employer, but during the tribunal it was claimed he was influenced by an anti ahmadi conference held in South London after the Pakistan attacks. This is a recording of the conference in which a preacher urges Muslims to keep away from Ahmadis and boycott their products. It was soon after that our investigation found hate leaflets openly on display. This is an example of the posters that we found up in shop windows and it says deception of the Kadyani and it says all Muslims are warned that the Ahmadis are not Muslim. It says they're misguiding people through the internet, through television, literature and advertisements. Let's go in and ask the shopkeeper why he's displaying such a poster. Inside, we confronted shopkeeper Adil Rabani. Some people have been attacked in the street, some people have had their shops boycotted. And if you're putting up no, course, leaflets, aren't you encouraging people no, to attack no, them? You have to give people information because they are misleading other Muslims. But do you think by putting a poster up, are you encouraging people to hate this no, group? I mean, this is to info give information to people that they're not Muslim. Mr. Rabani told us the poster wasn't encouraging hate, but simply warning people to stay away from Ahmadis because they're not true Muslims. But these sentiments have caused huge concern, and the matter was recently debated in Parliament. If we don't stop what we're seeing now, the, the distribution of the leaflets, the boycotts and so on, then that could grow. You could get the same kind of bloodshed that you're now seeing in Pakistan with 93 people massacred in two mosques, for example, and Ahmadis massacred for no reason whatsoever other than their religion. The police are now investigating whether the posters and leaflets breach any religious or racial hate laws, but it's notoriously difficult to secure a conviction. We've tracked down an organisation that admits to printing and distributing the material. All 
Katami Nabawat, or Finality of the Prophet, is the British wing of a Pakistani group accused of leading an extremist campaign against Ahmadis. In this speech, one of its preachers states that the Lahore attacks were an Ahmadi conspiracy. They're based in East London and we were given a rare interview. I can assure you there is no such a hate campaign uh, going on here. Some of your own preachers at conferences have been investigated for the language they used against the Ahmadis. Is that acceptable? The police and the Crown Prosecution Services um, came to the conclusion that although unpleasant words may have been exchanged or may have been used by, against the Ahmadiyya, but no law had been broken. I showed Mr Chowdhury the posters we had found in shop windows. Is this inflammatory? This, I would call it unpleasant, like the, the, like the CPS did. If speaking unpleasantly, when you don't agree with somebody or you, don't, uh, you, you, you dislike the way they're approaching things, if that was a crime, then uh, democracy would not, would not exist, you know? Technically, no laws have been broken, but this religious minority feels increasingly under threat by extremist hardliners importing an ideology of hate. Darshna Sonny, Channel 4 News.